If you're looking for a fun place to talk with myself and a lot of other very cool people, my Ninjago Discord server is the perfect place. There we can discuss Ninjago and lots of other very cool things. If you're interested, the link can be found at the top of the description. Hey guys, my name is Overlord X, and welcome back to the channel today for a brand new video. Since we are edging closer and closer to the release date of the island in France, I thought that it's only best I give my overall predictions to you guys in a video, and well, that's exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video. So kicking off the video and my predictions, we just have to discuss the Focus Ninja. Obviously on the box art, Lloyd is showed off the most. However, I think this may be a clever marketing scheme. Lloyd is one of the most popular ninja, obviously. Nia, on the other hand, really just isn't. So while I do think Lloyd will be receiving some focus in the island, I also think that Nia will, be, will end up getting the large majority of it. I think the Lloyd on the box art thing is more of just a clever marketing scheme on Lego's part. So yeah, for the Focus Ninja, I predict that it'll be kind of a Nia and Lloyd focused story, but the focus will drift more towards Nia. For my next prediction, I definitely think we'll be getting some flashbacks or reimaginings with some of the lore. So the Wahira stuff, the first Binjutsu Master stuff, all of that good backstory we are going to be getting. I think it'll be explained to us a bit more clearly in the form of some flashbacks. You know, that style. I honestly don't see why they wouldn't do that. Let's be real, I think we'd all appreciate any new scenes containing the first Binjutsu Master, or even Wohera. I don't see why they wouldn't do it. So yeah, this is another prominent prediction from me. Next up, if you've been watching some other videos of mine regarding the island, you'd know that I strongly think it's going to be a 45 minute special, and I do think that it's going to be a setup of sorts to the summer Ninjago season. That's how it's shaping up to be right now in my eyes, and honestly, I'm going to be really pumped if this is the case. I don't see it happening any other way. All sources are headed this way, so yeah, this is how I strongly imagine it going. I really just don't see it going any other way at all. For my next prediction just here, I think Jay will be sacrificed and the ninja will actually believe it. Let me explain myself a bit more here. I do believe that towards the end of the season, the keepers will end up quote unquote sacrificing Jay. Not sure exactly what they'd sacrifice him for, that's a topic for another video, but I do think they'll sacrifice him in some way and the rest of the ninja team will presume him to be dead as there's absolutely no trace of him anywhere and maybe they saw something else that led them to that conclusion. I don't know, this seems like the most likely to me based off of some leaked information that's come out lately. This one could go either way really, however this is how I personally imagine it going right now. And now finally for my last prediction, tying into the prediction just before this, I think Nia is going to be gaining a lot of development because of Jay's quote unquote sacrifice. Obviously Jay means the world to her, they are yin and yang, and to essentially have your lover be killed off must be an extremely difficult thing to go through. I know I'd sure be affected by this, so honestly I have no clue how Nia would react to this happening. Whatever the case though, I guarantee she'd grow a lot as a character because of this, and it's definitely a possibility that I just really had to throw out there. And so with all of this finally being said, we have rounded out today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed hearing my top 5 main predictions for the upcoming special known as The Island. I feel like we've been waiting ages for this thing and I am just incredibly hyped for this thing when it does actually end up releasing in French on February the 27th. So as always if you did end up enjoying today's video make sure you drop a like on it. If you're looking to go that extra mile to help support the channel make sure you're subscribing and considering turning on post notifications and with all of this finally being said i will see you all in my next one